Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a channeled message from your person. There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Strawberry Quartz. Group two is the Labradorite. And group three is the clear quartz. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you'd like to jump ahead. And up next is a close-up photo of the crystals to help you better make your selection. Hi, group one. Chose the strawberry quartz. So I'm going to start by pulling some tarot and I'll use these as the framework for the channeling and then I'll dive into the deeper energy surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. And following this initial portion of the reading, I'll get some standalone message cards that can either reinforce what comes through in the first part or can also serve as additional messages for you from your person's higher self. And then I'll close the reading out with some initials. So what does your person want you to know at this time? We have the Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Five of Swords. I want to move closer towards you, but I'm hesitant and guarded because I don't want to be hurt by love again. You are so different from my usual type that I gravitate towards, and in what I know of you, the experiences that we have had with one another, I feel a sense of safety in your presence, which I haven't felt in quite some time, romantically speaking. And yet the ghosts of my past are insistent at this point in time in having their say, one final go at trying to convince me that remaining guarded and aloof from opportunities to move forward with my life is in my best interest. I have listened to this wounding before and it has led to missed opportunities that I deeply regret. So, although I am a bit hesitant, please do not mistake this current positioning for my final answer as far as what will progress between the two of us going forward. I owe it to myself at this particular point in time to look deeply into the nature of what I bring to the table as far as wish fulfillment is concerned. I have been so focused on what I have been seeking in others that I have failed to properly assess and inventory what is the nature of my heart in this very moment. What is my history? What no longer serves me moving forward? And in this way, I can ready myself, prepare what it is that I have to offer to be something worthy of you. I know that you are somebody who values honesty and you have worked very hard to become rigorously honest with yourself in so many ways. And I'm inspired by this. It is giving me courage that might have been lacking before, 
to tend to some things of an emotional nature that are long overdue for healing, for sitting with these feelings, fighting myself all the way tooth and nail through the whole process because that's just how I am, stubborn through and through. But you motivate me to work in my best interest to overcome what is my typical response to times where I sense a stirring in my heart and I create barriers and excuses to run the other way. So it might be a slow progression from where we find ourselves at currently, but I am facing the horizon, looking to something more than the season we currently find ourselves in with one another. You are unique in your place of motivation in this capacity. I am grateful to you, regardless of how far I, I take this journey to address my own emotional needs for as long as I can hold back from you before just offering what I have to give and hoping that it is enough, hoping that I am far enough beyond my own disappointments in love to truly sustain a measurable stance with you. I hope that the future between the two of us looks bright and I will do everything that I can at this particular point in time to create that within myself for you, for me, and for us. And I hope that you like what you see, what it is that I am able to give to you at the point where that inner voice within me says now is the time to emerge from the cocoon of healing and to present whatever version of myself that that might be. So please try and take solace in this in-between time that we find ourselves in because this is not the final version of me that has been presented to you up to this point in time. I feel that the best is yet to come between the two of us and it is this sense of anticipation that encourages me to dig deeper than I have been willing to do up to this point in time and to sit longer in a state of discomfort knowing where I went wrong in love in the past. I don't want to take what you have to offer lightly. I know that you have been through so much and you are deserving of so much more than I have historically given to others as well in love. So let's mark this occasion as a time of healing out of which a new beginning, something more, something as yet to be discovered within and between the two of us is possible. I will continue to move towards you at a slow but steady pace, and I am eagerly anticipating the time when I can let my guard down fully and show you how intense the spark is that burns within me for you. So those are your messages in terms of signs with wands. We have fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Cups is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Swords is air, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Pentacles is earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And Wheel of Fortune is mutable energy, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, and Sagittarius. So let's see, what else does your person want you to know right now? I feel ashamed of what I've been doing with my life. I hope you can forgive me. We need to take it slow. I am in denial about my feelings for you. The energy between us felt amazing. Memories of you are haunting me. I want to protect you from myself. And I am aware that there's more to it. 
So these initials can be a first, middle, or last name, or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got E, T, I, G, R, A, U, H, M, N, K, Z, W, and F. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers. If you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi group two. It shows the Labradorite. So I'm going to start by pulling some tarot and I'll use these as the framework for the channeling and then I'll dive into the deeper energy surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. And following this initial portion of the reading, I'll get some standalone message cards that can either reinforce what comes through here in the first section or can serve as additional messages for you from your person's higher self. And then I'll close the reading out with some initials. So, what does your person want you to know at this time? Swords, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands. You captured my attention from the first moment that I laid eyes on you. And although I have created distance deliberately and knowingly between the two of us in so many ways, you are never far from my thoughts, even for an instant. I cannot escape you even in the realm of dreams, and I am compelled more and more to speak my truth to you, to make my intentions known in a way that is clear and plain so that you understand what I am working with at this particular point in time and you are able to determine if I in this situation are worth your precious time and effort to continue to hold space for me as I remain in a stance of being unable to fully open up and let you in emotionally at this time hold you in high regard and I am held to a very high standard as far as what I am able to provide to you sustainably and measurably. I know you are someone who will not suffice on empty promises. You require consistency. You require someone who will show up in an energy that matches you, that can contribute things of joy, meaning, and value to the nature of your existence. You are a person who is fine on your own. You hold your head high and you outshine all others, even in a crowded room. 
And yet I know you seek deeply for a companion, someone to walk by your side. I see myself becoming that person in time. But right now, as it stands, I am leaning back into my old patterns and coping mechanisms. I don't know how to operate with my emotions out on display. I have been patterned and conditioned to keep everything tucked away deeply within. That hopefully someday, one day, further down the road, there will, there will be an appropriate space and outlet for me to unpack everything I have been through and witnessed in my life. But at this point in time, I move through my day-to-day -day reality in survival mode most of the time. That when it comes to the tenderness necessary to breathe life into a relationship and to continue to foster the growth and the opportunities of expansion within the confines of that relationship. This requires a level of emotional openness that I just feel ill-equipped to provide to you in a satisfactory manner. I can't expect you to put your life on hold, and yet I know that if I let you slip through my fingers, this will be something that I will live to regret. Already you permeate everything, everything I see, everything I think about. The signs are deafening. I could not escape the reminders from the divine or perhaps some emanation from the hopeful part of my higher self that yearns for change, that keeps drawing me in the direction of focusing on you as a path that I should not walk toward but run after at full speed. And yet I stand here, firmly rooted in place, recognizing consciously and wholeheartedly that this, right now, what you are seeing from me is a demonstration of my karmic wounding in action. This is a key opportunity, a crossroads moment, for me to change course in a dramatic way. And yet I am terrified to take a step out of anything other than what I have known, and what has been my cloak of protection that has allowed me to survive this long and to this point in my life. You are somebody that I strive to be worthy of, and yet the path for that to happen is something that I'm somewhat in a state of wishing will just appear right before me in the easiest way possible, with the least amount of inconvenience and discomfort. I hope that you continue standing in the fullness of your power because I know that if you start to take steps in a direction away from me, this in and of itself might just be the flash of color necessary to bring me out of my patterned thinking of a black and white existence where it is either this or that, either the version of me that I have always been or something wholly unknown. You are the only person so far that has inspired me to start to look at myself and question if maybe there is something more than the rules that I have been living by. So while I remain a bit aloof, please know that my thoughts are consumed of you, with you, and all about you. And at times this is something which is maddening and frustrating, and other times that I sink into a state of feeling that this is what home should be like. I'm sorry if I send you mixed signals energetically. There's just so much confusion going on inside of me that I don't have an outlet to properly express through. So those are your messages in terms of signs with pentacles. We have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Swords is air, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Cups is water, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And the moon is Pisces and Cancer. So let's see, what else does your person want you to know right now?
Okay, and we have I've been lying to myself for so long. You're the best that's ever happened to me. I've been trying to forget about you, but I can't. There's still a lot you need to find out about me. We need to take it slow. I know you're the one for me. I need more time to reflect on myself. And I can't stop thinking about you. So these initials can be a first, middle, or last name, or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi group three. Chose the clear quartz. So I'm going to start with some tarot and I will use these as the framework for the channeling and then I will dive into the deeper energies surrounding that. I'm going to be channeling in the first person tense using pronouns such as I, me, you, and we. And following this initial section of the reading, I'll get some standalone message cards that can either reinforce what comes through here in the first part or can serve as additional messages for you from your person's higher self. And then I'll close the reading out with some initials. So, what does your person want you to know right now? Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Emperor, the Tower, and the Five of Pentacles. The distance between what I have expressed to you emotionally up to this point in time and the weight and gravity of what exists between the two of us would surprise you and shake you to your very core. There is so much potential that I see with us and I'm excited for what the future will hold. I am motivated to continue to press forth beyond my comfort zone and boundaries to make it clear 
and abundantly known to you that I am fixated upon you. I'm all in in this situation. I am eager and anticipating the continued merging of our energies with one another as we explore and get to know each other on a deep and multifaceted level. You open my mind to new ideas and possibilities of love that can exist between two people and also fundamentally within oneself. I see you as somebody who has been enhanced through your struggles, things that you have yet to mention to me or perhaps never will discuss at all, a shadow side to yourself experiences that might have broken others but instead have somehow become your greatest strength and treasure. These are aspects within you that you carry in such a delicate balance of fierceness and tenderness, and it has inspired me to start to reevaluate the ways in which I am prioritizing my own emotional needs and capacity as just as worthy as practical things that I have to bring to the table, which qualify me as a person worthy and deserving of a higher caliber of love than I now realize I was settling for in my life prior to meeting you. I am inspired to start to explore openly with you the collapsing of certain barriers between the two of us so that we can co-create a future together that is moving in the direction of unison and harmony. I want to openly declare my feelings for you in a way that all are aware. You are my choice. There is none that I hold above you. I want to make you feel secure in your decision to take the next steps with me. I want to make sure that you understand that when I say those three words, I love you out loud, that I mean that with the fullness of my being, with everything that has led me to that point, who I am in that moment, and who I will be inspired to become in the aftermath of such a profound and truthful declaration. You hold a place within my heart that is unmatched by any other. There is no rival for my affections. There is only you in my life, and I want to do what I can in order to keep it that way and to continue to let you know that I am here to grow and evolve with you at a pace which suits you and also helps you to feel challenged so that we can continue to walk the path of this unfolding love story between the two of us. If I seem reserved or guarded at times, it is only because I am trying to honor some unspoken need for space that feels right, it feels necessary, so maybe it's something deep within you that is still uncertain if I am real or too good to be true. I don't want to walk on eggshells around you because I would never expect you to do that with me. However, I feel at this time that it's important I follow my instincts and intuition and not push you to reveal too much too soon or make you feel uncomfortable about things that might have nothing to do with me that just give me a sense sometimes that you need your space. I am always close by. I am always a thought away. The energy between the two of us is so palpable, and I acknowledge that and look forward to the day when we can discuss this openly between the two of us. You are a phenomenon that has occurred in my life, a rarity and a gift. You are precious indeed, and I want to make sure that you feel seen and valued for who you are. I am trying to present to you the action behind the intention that supports my motivation to develop something more with you organically that can withstand the test of time. All signs point to you as being a good investment of my time, my energy, and my heart, and I'm following that. I am listening 
to that nudge that my higher self and my spirit guides and my angels and everybody that is saying your wish fulfillment is here are giving me. I look forward to what develops between the two of us in time. Getting to know one another as we are now and evolving with you together into entirely new and yet so much the same versions of ourselves as we are in this moment that we are standing on the precipice of so much more between the two of us. I want to declare my deeper feelings for you at a moment that just seems right. I will use that intuitive sense that encourages me at this time and other occasions to pause, move into a place of silence so you have space to think and feel into your own energy. I will use this intuition to determine when is the moment that you will be most pleasantly surprised by the invitation that I present to witness the contents of my heart and to understand just how profoundly you have impacted my life, how so much of what I have been focusing on and implementing strategies into action in my life has to do with a desire to build something more within myself and in turn to be able to be strong enough to grow with you in a profound and lasting direction. Thank you for the impact that you have made upon me and for mirroring to me the strength and courage that I hold within so that I can continue to embrace the knowing deep within myself that there are no limits within my own imagination that I cannot overcome and surpass and create wonderful things for myself and all around me. And thank you for being that point on the horizon that I am focused on, leaning towards at this time, and continuing to want to have and hold in my life. You are very special to me, more than I have let on to you at this point in time. And I look forward to the day when this good news is something that can make you blush and be a little more grateful. Hold me a little closer, hopefully, as someone who cherishes your presence in their life so far above so many other things I have experienced in my life overall. So, those are your messages. In terms of signs with pentacles, we've got Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. The Tower is Aries, the Emperor's Aries. Swords is Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Cups is Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And Wands is Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So let's see, what else does your person want you to know right now? Walking away from you made me realize how much I love you. No one, no one is ever going to replace how I feel about you. I know you're the one and that scares me. I hope you can forgive me. I'm scared of being vulnerable with you. I'm still learning how to love myself. I know our souls are entwined and we need to take it slow. So these initials can be a first, middle, or last name or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Q, F, 
D, D, T, A, L, R, S, K, I, E, W, L, T, P, R, and N. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.